Howdy! In this video what we're going to do is now we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a plane. Now there are two things that I need in order to find the equation of a plane. You need a point, which we're going to call x0, y0, z0. And you need a normal vector n, and we'll call this normal vector n a, b, and c. I'm going to tell you all in just a sec how to find it, but these are the two things that I need. You need a point, and you need a normal vector. Then the, your formula that you're going to use, once you have these three things, the equation of a sphere is going to be a times x plus b times y plus c times z is equal to a times x naught plus b times y naught plus c times z naught. And this would be the equation of your plane. Now, finding a point on a plane is usually going to be pretty easy. Um, it's the normal vector that's going to be the hard part. Here's how I attack all these types of problems. We're going to do several of them. We're going to do three different problems um, in three different ways they can ask it and to find the equation of that plane. What I always do, well, actually, first off, let's talk about what a normal vector is. So let's say you have a plane out in three-dimensional space. What your normal vector is, your normal vector call this n, is a vector that is perpendicular to that plane. Okay, So a normal vector is a vector perpendicular to that plane. And how can I find a vector perpendicular to any plane? If you can find two vectors, we'll call this vector a, and we'll call this vector b. If you can find two vectors that lie in that plane, you will cross them. Your n is going to be a crossed with b. And so strategy-wise, what we're going to do for all of these types of problems is we need to find two vectors on the plane because once I find two vectors on the plane, you cross them, hey, I got my normal. And once you got that, man, it's just plug and chug after that. All right, so it's going to be a three-part series. And um, what we're going to do with this first question is probably our most classic, the one that I've seen most often. And it's going to be how to find the equation of a plane that goes through three points. All right, so finding the equation of a plane, it's going to be a three-part series. This is part one, and that's finding the equation of a plane through three points. So let's attack this. So remember, strategy-wise, is i got to be able to find two vectors on the plane. And for me, I actually like to draw my scenario. So let's say here's my plane. Right, so here's my plane. And uh, you've got three points that are sitting on this plane. You've got the point 0, 1, 1. You've got the point 1, 0, 1. And you've got the point 1, 1, 0. What I need to do, or what I can do, given these three points, hey, let's do this. Let's find the vector from one point to another. I'll call that vector A. I'll find another point to the other. I'll call that vector B. And what we can do from here is cross them in order to find my normal vector. So my normal vector N is going to be A crossed with B. Now, I don't know what A and B are yet. These are points, not vectors. We need to find vector A, and I need to find vector B. Vector A, if you remember, tip minus tail. Vector A, 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1 is a negative 1. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. So there's my vector A. Vector B, okay. Doing tip minus tail, 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1, that's 0, and 0 minus 1, it's negative 1. And so let's find n. n is going to be the cross product between these two vectors. So we're going to go i, j, k, and then my vector a is 1, negative 1, 0. My vector b is 1, 0, negative 1. At this point in the semester, we should be comfortable with the cross product, but if you're still uncomfortable, please go back, watch my video, because I'm um, on cross product, because you're going to be doing cross products over and over and over again throughout this entire course, especially at the beginning and especially at the end, okay? So make sure cross product is fluent. But anyway, so let's see what goes in the I. What goes in the I, minus 1, minus 1 is 1, minus 0, I, uh, and then minus, and then for my J, 1 minus, or 1 times a negative 1 is a negative 1, minus 0j, plus, and then for my k, 
Well, 0 minus that negative 1, k, okay. and what you get is literally the vector 1, 1, 1. Cool. So there's your vector n. Now that you have your normal vector, the last thing that you need is I need a normal and a point. Well, you could use whichever point you want. You know, let's just use let's use that point. Okay, let's use this one as my x not y not z not. So we'll use this guy as my x not y not z not. And so now that I have my normal vector, now that I have my point, we just plug and chug. And so you're gonna have a times x. So this is my a, b, and c. So you're going to have a times x plus b times y plus c times z is equal to a times x naught. My x naught in this case will be 0. Plus b times y naught. My y naught is 1. Plus c times z naught. z naught is also 1. And so your final answer is x plus y plus z is equal to And that's it. And this is how you're going to find the equation of a plane. Draw me in the next couple of videos because what we're going to do is I'm going to show you different ways that they can be asked. But remember, your basic strategy, find two vectors on the plane. I don't care how you do it, just don't make up any voodoo math. But find two vectors on the plane, cross them, there's your normal. Make sure you have a point on the plane, and then plug and chug. Cool? So join me in the next video and we'll do another type of problem.